the videos on my channel, it won't take you long to work out that Dr. Michael Greger is my favourite plant-based educator. What I love most about his work, amongst many other things, is he never shares his opinion, but shares what the science says about any given subject. In 2016, I made a video on what Dr. Greger eats in a day. Recently, in a fantastic interview with Penn Gillette, Dr. Greger shared what he now eats in a day which has been hugely influenced by research he uncovered in his new book, How Not to Diet, including his intriguing breakfast prebiotic mix. So let's take a listen. The link to the original interview is in the description below. I highly recommend you watch it in full. Uh, so uh, morning at home is my prebiotic mix, a uh, variety of groats. That's the, you know, the purple barley, rye groats, uh, oat groats, and, uh, and little black lentils. Now I'm adding sorghum and finger millet. And so that I've just got a big pot for the week. Um, and then, you know, any, I can go sweet, I can go savory. This morning I did a uh, dark, sweet, frozen cherry with cocoa powder for kind of a chocolate-covered cherry kind of thing with some pumpkin seeds and flax seeds, walnuts, uh, some flavored balsamic. I think I used apricot this morning or blackberry ginger vinegar, something like that. Ever since I learned all about the chronobiology stuff and the I mean, how not to diet, you know, uh, how we really should try to weigh our calorie intake towards the beginning of the day. So now I'm eating bigger breakfast. So I have a big bowl of, uh, of my prebiotic mixture. And so then... Uh lunch today uh, i made a big this is typical for me when i when i'm on the road and i get home i don't have any fresh food in the house is uh, a miso soup so i can use dried mushrooms dried seaweed frozen greens uh, so i don't really need kind of a fresh trip to the grocery store so it's just you know tons of vegetables this one this time i did have some carrots and celery and onions and just lots of water and then just boil it and add some miso at the end with some cracked black pepper and hot sauce and uh good to go the, the broth is just kind of a vegetable broth at the end with no added salt, but then adding, um, you know, uh, like a tablespoon of miso per kind of bowl and just mix it up um, with the hot broth to maintain the life in the little probiotic bugs in there. Miso paste. So I like the mellow, sweet, uh, white paste as opposed to that red, dark, intense kind of stuff. Yeah. Oh, and some uh, sesame seeds. Sesame seeds on top. Um, and then any, I'm a big fan of kind of international cuisine, so I'll either do kind of a, like a, I think tonight, uh, like the Mexi theme, so you have these like, you can buy these frozen blue corn tortillas, like I always have stocked in the freezer, take them out, toast them, and just, you know, pile them with, you know, avocado and salsa and black beans and, you know, kind of grilled onions, kind of a fajita onion pepper mixture with some kind of adobe sauce, chipotle flavor, and then just kind of dip in the kind of toasted tortillas like chips it's kind of a standard meal for me or you know do some kind of italian thing just you know canned tomatoes and tons of greens and with some you know whole grain spaghetti or something the only thing i've done i, I started doing the time restricted feeding so basically just uh shifting my evening meal earlier so now I eat at 5 instead of 7. Eating early, not eating after 7. Fewer calories after sundown, the better. That's all this new chronobiology stuff, which was completely new to me. I wake up at 5, take breaks to eat meals, and then basically work till 10, 7 hours of sleep, and wash and repeat 7 days a week, 365 days a year, because there's so much out there to do.